any man that there is no any, any ounce of jealousy that means that they have other options stop ah. no, no, no it says for better for worse and it says in sickness mm -hmm. and in health it's different is it no. So that's for better for worse. But there was no Sickness infidelity in it. Yeah, there's no Richer infidelity. Richer and poor. Okay, but there's no infidelity in that. Worse is okay. What is the worst that? Worse. Okay, worse yeah, but you're worse okay, that can you see, you see, you see. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> see. You're implying the worst in, in, okay, in is, every kind of way you okay, want. No, that's not worse. In your perspective, what is the worst that can uh, happen? The worst? Yes. Sickness and um, 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 poor, poverty. Poverty is worse than um, infidelity? And all these kind of things. Okay, but do you think poverty is worse than infidelity? The worst... Why are you implying infidelity in the worst? <laughs> no, but you said it on your wedding day. I why said would you say something that you don't know where it comes from? Hey, I mean, I say it because I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> So you just say you don't know where it comes uh, from. Me, uh, me, I say it to, to, to marry you. Uh, but it's where it comes from. But you don't know what it means. As long as I'm marrying you. Mm -hmm. eh? Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome guys. Welcome newbies. Welcome new subscribers. Welcome to a beautiful channel. If you're here, we welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the Father. Amen. <laughs> that was a bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Hey, listen, you gotta welcome people in the name of the Lord. You feel me? Amen. You know, you are welcome. Is it a song? You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I, lo I can see. I love you in the name of the Lord. That's not the same one. Oh, the, that's the Nigerian version. The Ghanaian version is I love you in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the oh, name. Peace. I'm not even Nigerian, so I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Whatever. How has it been? How has it been? How 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 are you doing? How am I doing? Mm -hmm. You don't know how I'm doing. No, I don't know how you're doing. You woke up with me in this house. No, went I, to work, came back with me in this I, house. I actually don't know how you're doing. You've eh? been talking to me since mm. today. How are you doing, baby? I'm doing okay. How I'm are doing you? good. I'm doing all right. You know. Mm. Um, how are you guys doing? We hope you all are blessed, highly favored. Welcome new subscribers. We hope you guys will subscribe because. You know YouTube how it is. If you don't subscribe, mm, problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are so fine. Today we are talking about um. What are we talking about? Um. I'm a little bit distracted because you look good. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so today, guys, we are talking about jealousy. Mm. Jealousy. Jealousy. Mm? Jealousy, Papa. Jealousy, Mama. That's a Ghanaian thing. Don't worry. Don't. Don't look at me. That's a Ghanaian thing. Fellow Ghanaians, you understand, eh? Or maybe you don't. Uh, that means you're not, you're not, you're not a real Ghanaian. You don't understand. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so jealousy. So, so we're talking about jealousy. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, primarily because um, it was suggested in the comments, guys. Because when you when you comment and you suggest or you tell us things that you would like to hear us talk about, we do our best to prioritize that. So today we're going to talk about jealousy. Is there a place for jealousy in a relationship? Is it always bad? Is it always toxic? What is jealousy even? If you're a jealous person or if your partner is jealous, excessively jealous, how do you handle that? So hmm. let's get it. So first, let me let me define jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion that encompasses feelings ranging from suspicion to rage to fear to humiliation. Hmm. And this last part, it says when a person perceives a threat to a valued relationship from a third party, the threat may be real or imagined. So that is when jealousy strikes. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, therapists will say that pathological jealousy, at least, is like the misuse of your imagination because oftentimes the threat is not real, although it might have started from something that is in your past that was very real. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so now in the biblical sense, we go to the Bible to see what God says about jealousy because God talks a lot about jealousy. God himself is a jealous God. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says that we should not bow down to any other God and worship only him because he is a jealous God. He is in the, his right place to be jealous. God can be jealous over you because you're living your life in submission to something else, mm -hmm. whereas your life belongs to him and should be in submission to him. It also translates in, ter in terms of a relationship, like me and you, where there is a vow. Say you did something with another woman, cheated on me, that is, infidelity that right. is i am in my rights to be jealous over that because it's something that is like your body is rightfully mine 
serious <laughs> which is controversial nowadays right but mm. you know it's rightfully mine and i have the right to be jealous over you in that sense right there's even um numbers chapter five has the law of jealousy right how to deal with a wife that has been unfaithful or there's suspicion that this wife that you've married you're married to in a covenant with vowed the, that you belong to each other and then the, the covenant is somehow broken there is a law of how to go about and it's called the law of jealousy of jealousy yeah in numbers five right so yeah that. no that's good because uh, even um, in the book of um numbers again god commend phineas mm -hmm. who's the son of aaron for being jealous for, for him his yeah. for his name so there's a sense in which god um, he acknowledges people that are jealous for him, right? Because God is so holy, meaning that he's set apart. And even in the New Testament, we have Paul mm -hmm. that is jealous. With godly jealousy. With godly jealousy. He told the church of Corinthians that I'm jealous for you because what you once knew, it's like it's as if you're being deceived now. So I think that God wants us to be jealous but for the right reasons and for the right things. So the jealousy that we just talked about is jealousy that is linked with zeal, linked with um, love yeah some yeah love that jealousy could be defined as the unlawful giving of what belongs to me to another person or of what belongs to god to another person and then there is the other jealousy that is more closely linked with envy with coveting which is the one that the bible talks about very strongly i think in corinthians second corinthians he talks about how those that are practiced or are jealous will not even inherit the kingdom of heaven you know so just to keep in mind that the bible addresses jealousy in two different ways the jealousy of zeal which is positive and jealousy to co to covet jealousy to see something and you want it and then you you know mm. all sorts of things arouse in your heart against the person mm. that's not good you know what's you know what's <laughs> what's crazy because even in the garden of aden satan was jealous that god had attributed all that he has created in the hands of adam and that is what that was partially what led to the fall because obviously like satan used to be a very beautiful being and because he disobeyed God, he now became jealous. It's yeah. it's it, it's crazy because when you're not in right standing with God, that's when jealousy creeps in. Mm -hmm. When pride, you know, there's a jealousy that is tied to pride. I was <sighs> about to say jealousy and pride, and they go together. Mm -hmm. Like wherever you find jealousy, you will see pride there. Mm -hmm. Even in normal like relationship, all that to say is that wherever there is jealousy, there is all, always pride. That well, I'm the one that deserved this better. Mm -hmm. All this is for me, which is not true because everything belongs to god that's why god is the one that can be jealous because everything at the end belongs to him so he can say this is mine this is mine that is mine anyways it's 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 like crazy how like the bible explains that even right from the beginning in the garden of aden i was gonna have us like i guess go a little bit more into how it plays into relationships let's start with the question does jealousy ever have a place in a relationship so we talked about how god feels jealousy and how i can feel jealousy when you have done something legitimately wrong against me by giving that which is mine to another person mm. for example i see you kissing another girl and i'm jealous that belongs to me you can't be doing that right we're monogamous here no polyamory <laughs> mm. right so i rightfully feel jealous because you gave that which is mine to someone else yeah because there's a just breach like, of covenant right? yes yeah, just like god yeah. rightfully feels jealous over israel when israel is constantly playing the whore and going under every high place to worship idols when he's in the covenant with mm. israel right so god is a jealous god for his people in that sense because mm. they're giving that ah, which is his my god my god is there ever a place for jealousy in a relationship where it's like i didn't catch you cheating on me i didn't see you kissing no girl you know but i feel jealous whenever say there's a girl passing by and you say hi to them you know i feel jealous over you well like that's that. that's insecurity i think that's that's where you you have a communication with your partner where like you sit her down that hey what's what's going on is there maybe something in 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 your past in your past relationship mm -hmm. um some sometimes it has it has nothing to do with trust it's just that hey they have seen this growing up so many many times and that they think it's okay so just kind of having a communication and like sitting down and saying that i've realized that this is a part in that you are doing where like whenever there's a girl that approaches me that you that you feel you feel a type of way i think that is where a communication is 
you know like communication is needed and not any yeah. type of communication it's really mm -hmm. just hey like yeah what's 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 good like like i love you and i have no evil intention that i'm i'm gonna you know like cheat on you or anything but you keep bringing this 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 thing up so yeah you were gonna say no, something. i was gonna say do you feel like it's always negative you would say jealousy doesn't have a place at all in a relationship again i th because like the example you gave is that let's say that was just uh, one example okay, that uh, i i was thinking uh, about right. quickly but you know in a broader sense do you think jealousy ever has a place at all in a relationship mm -hmm. like right now you've not been unfaithful to me i've not been unfaithful to you um would you say there are instances where you get jealous listen i i think that like there's a sense in which you are jealous and you're protective over what you care mm -hmm. and what you love you know mm -hmm. guys we love cars um i'm uh for well, god guys i'm i'm here generalizing here but most guys love cars right like if if i buy my dream car listen i'm, I'm not yes i can i can borrow my best friend you know, like to ride here and there but if they scratch it or if let's say they're there going fast with it like there's a sign in which i'm gonna be yo hold up man that's the brand you don't new want car your that car I bought. to be scratched you know so now like do you think that's jealousy i don't know but for me i think that like the fear of it being hurt or it being damaged mm -hmm. so the fear of losing something from precious the base or from the most root of what jealous is i think it's fear and yeah. if you don't have fear that your loved one or the person that you claim you love the most is going to be taken away then i don't know if you truly love them that's why god is a jealous god because he intercedes for us you know like jesus is always interceding for us so that satan will not take us away from him so now if you bring that into relationship and if your loved one claims that they love you and they don't show any fear of losing you fear of rejecting you of um making you question whether the relationship is healthy or not i think you ought to <laughs> pause and think whether this relationship is for you you know mm -hmm. I agree. That's why I kept pushing on the, the question. Like, do you feel like jealousy ever has its place? Because I think that um, how you linked it with fear, just like fear on its own is something that a lot of people fear fear, right? Because fear can be paralyzing. Mm. Paralyzing fear is never good, you know, because you can't function, you can't move forward. Um, there is an optimal level of fear that is good, you know? The right amount of fear makes you perform very, very well. That's it. Right? But too much of it makes you be paralyzed and not enough of it will make you just be nonchalant about things. Like, mm. eh. So there's a good level of fear and there's a good level of jealousy that is necessary. If your partner doesn't react at all when some man is coming next to you in a certain certain type of way flirting with you in a certain type of way maybe he's super super confident that nothing is going to happen but i feel like aside from even the confidence there's just an aspect an aspect of like like nah i don't know i feel like there's a a good yeah Listen, level of fear let, me, let me let there. me let me say like this any man that there is no any, any ounce of jealousy that means that they have other options stop ah. <laughs> nah any you think so come on here <laughs> like man we 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 are jealous about the things that we love or the things that we cherish yeah if there if there's not like i'm, I'm not talking about like jealousy where like you know you're going crazy and then you're being very excessive no no they're not possessive that's not what we're talking about come on like it just like a like a lot of concern i hate listen like this guy you know I, I i saw him looking at you a certain way or like you know if there is nothing nothing at at all at all cry like nothing <laughs> cry <laughs> <laughs> that's my guy thing coming in if there is nothing at all yeah i don't know i don't know is he that means they have other Raise options. Your eyebrows, the, that means he he has other options same like wise for ladies you know like wise for ladies so okay so maybe let me let me ask this example then let me ask this question then how can a guy show a healthy level of um jealousy mm-hmm for me like I, what does it look like what does it to, like to i be? can only say what it looks like for me because okay. i think people have different thresholds for certain mm -hmm. things um i feel like for me what i would find not okay is if like um we're out somewhere and then like some guy is just talking to me like forever you know getting super close to me or you know something like that and then you notice it but 
you just have like no re- reaction at all like you don't even care you know you don't want to go and be like oh. oh who's this guy talking to my girl let me introduce myself or even if you don't react in any way in the moment after that when we're alone you don't ask me any questions about like oh who was that guy you know i don't think you know i kind of know your friends but i've never met that one before who is he like there's no inquiry into anything at all um i feel like i would worry a bit um, I feel like it looks like being protective over me as well. Not just in the context of like someone is sh- like another man is trying to like flirt with me, but you know, little things like yeah, just being protective. Not like to say that I'm fragile you. or I can't yeah. like necessarily take care of myself, but I guess it goes back to a little bit of chivalry. Like you know, what side of the road you're 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 walking on when we're both on out oh. on a walk? When you see me carrying something and you hurry to take it out of my hand, you know, because you're being my man to carry what is heavier. You know, um, again, that's not necessarily jealousy, but I think it's just good for me. Is little protective things that, yeah, I find. And I find that the kind of jealousy that has to do with that protectiveness of like, yo, this is my girl. This is my girl. And I'm like, it's my girl. Same with when someone is, is insulting me mm-hmm. or disrespecting me. And then you're just there and you're just like, oh, she can defend herself. Which might be true, but it's an aspect of like, yo, that's my girl. You don't talk to her like that. That I find that is important for right. me. So, yeah. yeah. I think the reason why some guys nowadays are so like <laughs> scared or maybe frightened to be jealous is again this whole like feminist thing, right? Because if you can do what a man can do, then what's the point of me showing you too much concern or too much love or too much, you know, like jealousy, right? So mm-hmm. I think maybe that also plays into why now we see jealousy as such a negative thing. It's like yeah. one time I was I was discussing like my coworkers and I was I was having again this conversation with them and I'm, I'm saying that jealousy obviously nowadays it's been described as very evil and very bad and i was telling them that i i disagree i think that if there is a relationship and then a guy is is not jealous at all and like the woman is not jealous at all it's not good and then they were all going ballistic on me that no jealousy is bad Mm -hmm. at all times and again like they were coming from this cultural point of view that because jealousy because there's been a, a lot of men that have taken jealousy in a very bad way abused and controlling. uh you know traumatic yeah. way i think it is really shaping their definition of mm-hmm. what jealousy is do you think i'm a jealous person Oof, yeah i am i mean yeah how, how i think i think you i think you're a very clingy person like what is yours, I'm is clingy? yours? i think you no no like you know you're clingy no but like in the sense that like you when when like when something is yours it's yours like you don't you don't, <laughs> I don't wanna, share that, yeah like especially when you you like you know that god has given it to you which like like which you often say that you know like you prayed about this relationship you know that god meant this relationship for you right you had not dated anyone so i think like you come into it with that sort of mindset i guess mm. so yeah you know sometimes you know you can you can you can play a little bit of that in there and because you know I'm I'm a, I'm a fine boy, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, like when you're a fine boy like that, you know, people don't want to share you like this, you know. They <laughs> bet. You see, you know, because like, yeah, I think that if someone is not even jealous of you, you know, because they don't find you fine, it's like, ah, even you, <laughs> you're like, you know, who's who's even gonna flirt with you? So if your partner is not jealous of you, it's because they don't find you fine, mm-hmm. because you're like, ah let me leave them there who's even gonna flirt with them <laughs> you see so all this kind of plays into it that you know it it um again hey i had a if, point that i, w- I yeah, want to forget go ahead i feel like nowadays everything is like pushed to one extreme like nowadays everything is anti-semitic everything racist. is racism everything is i don't know transphobic like the smallest thing of it so that when actual racism happens sometimes it's like it's like it's not even valid like that even the same thing with harassment you know when you make every little thing harassment when actual harassment actually happens you know it kind of like i don't know i feel like it kind of devalues you know the the thing exactly so i feel like with jealousy if everything is just you know every jealousy is synonymous to insecurities you know then 
there's there's a jealousy that is not necessarily just that that is mm. just protectiveness that is just i value this thing therefore i cherish it therefore i will do everything in my power to prevent it from being lost yes clement for i have a maybe cultural example mm-hmm. um alicia keys and osher yeah if i if if i'm the husband <laughs> what's what's his name um what's her um beats uh, no beats, no it's beats something. Something. Swiss, yeah. beats. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss beats Swiss beats <laughs> <laughs> Swiss beats Swiss I think it's Swiss it, beats yeah, Swiss beats if you are if you are listening to this <laughs> please I'm, <laughs> Sweet beats. I'm sorry I don't want to I don't want to botch this guy's name I mean yeah, that's his nickname it's not even his yeah. real name but uh Swiss beats <laughs> <laughs> you good like if say you want to be um because like you used to be a rapper right, right? so if say like you're in the rap industry and you're doing music videos and then you're there on guys if <laughs> you, you think that would be okay with it like nah how about you is there any any other time that you 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 get jealous have, have you ever gotten jealous in this in this relationship before yes oh shit that was fast <laughs> the heck mm. When uh when um when there was that girl that you were talking to before and then when you were with me then now she's trying to come back and say oh hi Clement um can you help me with this Bible question I was like the heck go ask your pastor why are you asking my man serious guys so if you have any Bible questions you know you already know eh <laughs> you already so know that <laughs> but okay let's switch gears so if you're in a relationship where there's jealousy the kind of jealousy that is not appropriate Mm. at least to your standards you know you feel like this person yo it's too much so maybe clement is on that side and he's talking to this girl and my imagination is bringing up this idea that he's taking her number and then my mind begins to create all sorts of scenarios and then when he comes i'm questioning him aggressively obsessively and you start defaming my character yes and all of those things right so that Mm. kind of jealousy is not good it's Mm. not proper and it has to be addressed right so if you are the one that has the jealousy issue i would invite you to play to play to pay close attention to the scenarios and the situations in which that jealousy wakes up that you go to your partner and then you tell them what you saw them do and how that made you feel jealous in a way that is super super humble where you're questioning them in the sense that hey i saw this happen and in that moment i felt this way i don't know if it's me you know or if there's actually something that was going on in that situation so then you're throwing the ball in your court for them to kind of like answer um defend justify or acknowledge that something might have happened right and oftentimes we will say again and again this is more of like uh i guess the therapies stuff that they would do right that You know, there's the three, the number three rule that you observe that situation has happened at least three times so that when you're going to your partner to bring it up, it's not an isolated situation where they can be like, yeah, that just happened this one time. But if it's happened three times, you have a solid case to make. You can have a, a solid conversation about it and dig deep, right? So that's if you are the one that is jealous. If your partner is the one that is jealous, the same thing can be done. You go to him, hey, I've noticed that when this, this is happened, you get this way. I don't know if it's me or, you know, if there's something that is happening on your side. This is how I perceive it. What do you think? So that you have a conversation in a way that is not too, too, too confrontational, but really more of a discussion. On your own, you can also dig deep to acknowledge how those patterns became a thing for you like what has usually people that are super super extremely jealous or people that have had your trust broken in the past for you to to dig deep and see when that began to happen and then once you've done that to now if it's your ex that did that to you you need to start comparing your ex um with your current spouse not in the sense that comparison can be bad but with jealousy i think that it's good in this sense so that everything that your ex used to do for example if he went out late at night and he didn't text you where about his whereabouts you call he doesn't pick up but this your current boyfriend when you call he's picking up when he's gonna be late he's telling you you know so you're just seeing how different they are and how maybe foundless your insecurities might be right if he's a type that if he's having this new female friend he tells you about it he's not hiding anything he gives you access to his phone uh, his social media accounts the other one would not 
so you see that the situation is different and you can compare it in that sense so that your your imagination is not misused and you're replacing that with real stuff in the present right that this one is doing properly so that you're deconstructing the past patterns that you've built over time no that's very very good advice and you know um if you're here and then you have a partner or someone that is struggling with it i we we are also there you know you can message us dm us on instagram if you want to someone to kind of see things from a more objective lens um we are there hey you know like yeah. we're a community we're a family here i would say um find friends that knows you that recognize that and are able to objectively speak life into you or confront you ish into okay. it because i think that sometimes when it comes from your it can come from your partner but i think at times when it comes from them it might it might come across too much as a attack so i think that it's too confrontational if, yeah, I mean, hey, if you have that relationship with them, and then you know you can mm -hmm. you, you can talk about it with them, fine. But I th but I think that it's it's good to also find a friend that is objective or someone that knows you. That um, f well, first of all, if you have this problem, you have to acknowledge it, right? You need to know, you have to acknowledge and accept that this is your problem that needs to be worked on, and then um, talk about it with a friend, a friend like not a friend that will agree with every like jealousy crazy. Th imaginations that you have but someone that really hey you know i think you have a you have this problem i think that you are reaching with this thing that you are talking about and i think that this is something that you will slowly begin to see that it's really a problem in me mm -hmm. or it's really a problem in my um like with my spouse or with my partner yeah okay guys sorry the camera died so we kind of forgot what we we're talking about but camera is always dying <laughs> but i guess we're actually at the end of this video and i just had one more question to ask clement if i cheated on you would you take me back <laughs> uh the next question <laughs> nope you would I, not take I, me back nah, i think I, maybe like, I, okay, if i cheated I, think I, have, I have too much pride like if i, I cheated I but can't. you didn't find out i came to you crying whether or not you came and, and uh, i am really sorry it's the same the trust has it, been broken it's been damaged it's been breached you will you leave know. me what do you mean leave you i've already leave you you've, 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 you've will already you, will left you take me. time to think about it what do you mean leave me you've already left me when you cheated yeah but that doesn't hosea took back home hey am i hosea <laughs> Charge, please. I'm Clement Arjen. <laughs> so that you won't take me back? Ah, no, I'm telling you. At all? I mean... Christ took you back when you were unfaithful to uh, him uh, and you will not take me back? Uh, I'll not take you back. Huh? When you when you, when you see Christ, tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, me, I can't. I, I, I can't. Because for me, I might... Like the way I see you, the way I will be intimate with you, the, the way I will be like playful, like all that mm. will not feel real anymore. Yeah. That's that's how bad it's it's gonna get. I am. Um... How about you? Nah, look at who you're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, stop. It's because I'm saying that you 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 would take me. Me. Yeah, how did that? Know, that? <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, it's fin. Eh. I, before you finish the sentence, I, I, did, I you. I was gonna say I've packed my bags, but no, I'm keeping the house. You give me what? I'm house? keeping the house. You are out. What are you talking about? With which case do you have kids yet? <laughs> Don't worry, you are out. Ah, me. You do that. E. Hmm. I cannot. Mm. I cannot. Anyways, tell guys. Um. Anyways, guys, tell us what you think. Oh. Yeah. If your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever che cheats on you, how are you going to handle it? Or Wait, baby, that means I would divorce? Yeah. Are you sure? But you said for better, for worse, and for worse covers infidelity. Who says so? That's what the vow you made on your wedding day is. It says for better, you said for better, for worse, that covers infidelity. Where is it in the scriptures? Even for better or worse, where is it in scripture? <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> please Peace, guys. A anyways guys let us know what you think in the comment section um about jealousy what do you how do you handle jealousy how have you handled jealousy in your relationship in the past and how are you handling your own jealousy whether it's from you or your spouse mm -mm -mm. let us know what you think right? better for what's covers infidelity mm. 
Yes. Do you guys agree? For better or for worse, covers infidelity. Yes. I think no. It's supposed to cover. It's not covering anything. The worst that can happen in your marriage, I think, is infidelity. It's you going and knowing another woman. The the, the better for worse. Where is it at? Where, Where does it come from? Does it come from the catechism of westminster or where's where's, where's that from so, or from the pope do you know where it comes from where, where does it come from no i'm asking do you know the burden of proof is on you you're the one that said it <laughs> no but you said it on your wedding day I why said would it you from... say something that you don't know where it comes from hey i mean i say it because i want to marry you <laughs> <laughs> so you just say you don't know where it comes I from mean, i mean i say it to, to, to marry you uh, but where it come from but you don't know what it means as long as i am marrying you mm-hmm. eh? anyways okay, so you didn't mean your vows mm, ah i meant it there were a means to an end the better for worse mm-hmm. mm. so what did you mean by for better for worse well the better for worse they say is what uh when 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 they get sick even jesus no, himself no, 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 the no, better for says, worse no no, no it less. says for better for worse and it says in sickness mm-hmm. and in health it's different is it no so that's for better for worse but there was no sickness infidelity in, in it yeah there's no richer infidelity. and poor okay but there's no infidelity in that worse is okay what is the worst that worse can, okay yeah but you see you see <laughs> okay no <laughs> see you're implying the worst in, in, okay, in is, every kind of way you okay, want no in that's your not worse what is the worst that can uh, happen the worst yes sickness and um, um, um poor poverty poverty is worse than um, infidelity yeah and all these kind of things. Okay, but do you think poverty is worse than infidelity? The worst. Why are you implying infidelity in the worst? There's <laughs> no, no, but answer my question. Okay, is poverty okay, Jesus. worse than infidelity? Okay, okay, what did Jesus say in Matthew 18, I think? Matthew 18. What did Jesus say? Infidelity equals what? Don't this, you tell me. He, no, but The like, burden of proof is on he you. He gave the option. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hmm? Yeah, because he knows that we are we are weak, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and he does not hold us to the higher standard. Just like how Moses Stop told them that to, it was okay Stop to do certain to play things. Gymnastic. He said that no, if, if there is infidelity, he gave the option for people to divorce, right? He gave them the option, but that's not the the, the highest the level of right? that's not the ideal. Okay, then when, when is time? Then you 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 practice the ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. guys, um, thank you for rocking with us. You know guys, how we do he it would here. divorce me. Mm, guys, you know, you know how we do this. I probably would divorce him too, but I mm. think that I would, I would, I would. It would be hard. I mean, I'm not saying like that. <laughs> <laughs> like you're special. Okay, no, so I want to honor what God wants. All right, guys. So here. <clears throat> <laughs> all right guys so i actually have my own solo youtube channel i abandoned leticia a long he time has. ago so um i feel betrayed i'm jealous yeah this new channel is really for me to sort of um bless people with the giftings god has given to me right mm-hmm. and i'm into history especially history concerning the church even history in general um i'm into music so i'm gonna be posting some worship some music out there biblical manhood you know to talk about the current state of man both in the church and also in the world Mm -hmm. media culture like what are things that we can learn from Mm -hmm. culture as christians and really Mm -hmm. confront light Mm -hmm. with darkness Mm -hmm. so these are things that i'm I'm gonna be talking about so you guys should watch out um there's a lot of interesting things that are coming um that you guys are gonna be blessed by you will be blessed by it so watch out watch out for that too watch out All right, so that's it. That's it. Guys, thank you for rocking with us again. We appreciate your love. Thank you for watching up to this point. We know it's not easy to watch these videos, but hey, it's for your edification. So you better watch so that you can grow, you can thrive, you can mature in your relationship. Come on, say amen. Out here. <laughs> amen. Come on, I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Like, it helps get the word out there so more people can grow, be have a healthy relationship. And that's 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 about it, guys. Let me know. Do you think for better for worse? Do you think the worst is infidelity? I think the worst is infidelity. Hmm. You know, I don't think for better for worse, the worst is necessarily like poverty or sickness because that's a different part of the vow. For better for worse, richer and poorer, sickness and health, three different things. What does Jesus think about infidelity? He he does he's, not. He's, does, he's, okay, he's, what does Jesus practice? Okay. What does Jesus practice okay. in the context of infidelity? What does he do? Nah, he himself, he gave us the option. He was clear. No, but what clear. does he do? We're the supposed question, to do what Jesus the does. The question, no. Right? No, 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 no. Do what your master do, no, does. No, no, But the Pharisees and I'm the disciples. About the Pharisees. Is, what is the example that the Jesus disciples laid gave down? Him, you see, you, you're trying to play gymnastic and then hide and seek with the scripture. But this, here, no, you say you divorced me.
Mm. If you cheat. But I yeah, know. but that means you never loved him. Mm, what? That's not true. Mm. So why would you divorce him? I mean, that's right. Love, love covers all things. Mm. Love covers all things. Okay? Love covers a multitude of sins.